for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on this adorable Stampin' Bella image called Santa's Speedy Delivery. Isn't he super cute? And I've made him into a shaker card this time. That's why it's so shiny. Got a bunch of stuff down here that when you shake it, it falls up and down. And this um, stamp also comes with a sentiment. That's always extra special when we get that. I will put a link down in the description box of the card kit and all the supplies that I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. If you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, I have already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So let's color. All right, so I'm gonna start it by giving my Santa an outline. So I'm gonna do that with W00. And let's just go down here by a shoe. And we'll go all the way around. Here around our bow, and I'm going to get in the center of the little bow there. And then we'll go right across his hat. He's just skating along there. And around our skate. And that boot. And let's go back down to the bottom of this other boot. And let's do a little bit around this little package over here too. Next, let's do his face. For that, we're going to use E21, E00, and R11 for our his nose and his cheek. So I'm going to start with my E21, and I'm going to go right across the front of his hat here, or underneath of his fur on his hat. And then I'm going to bring that out a little bit here on the side. And he's got a little bit of his face showing right here behind his little mustache. Let's get that. And then right here where his nose is, I'm going to give that a little dab, and a little dab where his nose hits over there. Then I'm going to add E, double zero. Do his nose. And then we're going to add um, R11. So let's do a little cheek. Right here. And then for his nose, he's outside, he's pretty cold, so let's make that a little bit red. And then I want to do my skin tone again, so let's do E21. And then E00. And I think I'll add a little bit more pink to this little cheek right here. And let's pink up his nose a little bit more. And then we'll go over that with our E double zero. Let's do his hat and his coat next. So I'm going to do those with R37, 27, 17, and 05. I'm going to start with my R37. Let's start up here on his little hat. So I'm going to do a little dab right here in the little pointy part of his hat here with my E37, or my R37. Got to get the right color going there. And then let's do a little bit here in this little crease where it's, it's dipping down. And then over here, let's do... Let's go like this, and then we're going to bring that down over here to this side. And I'm going to bring this up like that. And then let's do right next to his the fur on the hat. And then I want to make this a little bit wider. So let's do, well, I'm going to bring it down here to the bottom of his hat, too. Let's do that. 
And then we're going to bring this up like this. Okay. Then we want to add our 27. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of that down here. And a little dab to each of these. And then we're going to add our 17. I'm going to fill this little spot in. And then R05. Let's see here. And then I'm going to do the whole thing over, so I'm going to grab R37. Go right next to the fur. And then we'll add our 27. R17. And then our R05. little hat. Okay, let's hop down here and we'll do his little suit. So again, grab R37. I'm going to start over here on his arm that's behind his back. Let's do a little dab of that. Right next to his body. We've got to go around his mustache here, or his beard. And then we'll add our 27. And then our 17. And then our 05. And then like the other side, or like his hat, I want to do it all again, so grab R37. R27. R17. And lastly, R05. Okay, let's do his other arm over here. So R37 first. Then R27. R17. I'm going to fill that in, and then we want to give it a second coat, so R37,
And then we'll get his little belly. So let's do R37 first. And I'm going to do right next to his little beard here. And I think I'll bring that out, out to right here. And let's bring this down. And then I want to flick that away from that. So let's bring it out a little bit more. And then we'll add our 27. R17. And then your R05. And then let's do a second coat, so R37. this bottom part here. So again, let's go with R37. And I'm going to go right along here. And then there's a little line right here, so I'm going to go down that, the fur. And then I want to go underneath of his belt. And there's a couple little lines over here, so let's do those. And then I want to pull this out a little bit further. So let's go and be careful down here by the fur. I don't want to get that red on there. Then let's add our 27. I'm going to go over here, add a little bit to this line here, and then we'll do R17. And then our R05. And then I want to do a second coat for that too, so R37. R27. R17, and I'm going to do this little back part of his jacket so it's a little bit shinier there. Five. Let's do his glove, belt, and boots next. So for that we're going to use in nine, seven, six, five, and three. I'm going to start right here on his belt with N9. So let's do a little bit right here next to the buckle. And if you don't, I don't hardly ever use my N9, so if you're like, you like me and you hardly ever use it, it's probably pretty wet, so you might want to pull the cap off of the other end just to make sure you don't um, make a big blob on your project. And I think I'll go out right to here. And then let's bring this along here. And then we want to brush this out. And then we want to add N7. N6.
and then in five. And then I want to give it a second coat so it's a little blacker. So I'll grab your N9. And in seven. In six. And let's go over all that with N5. Then let's hop up here and we'll do his glove. So again, I'm going to do um, N9 first. Now let's do a little dab right here. I'm going to go around his little finger. Down here. And then we'll add N7. N6. And then our N5. And let's give it a second coat, so N9. N7. N6. And then again with our N5. take my N3 and I'm going to go around the inside of his thumb here a little bit. And that will kind of push the color away and make it a little bit lighter. Let's see if we can do that down here a little bit too. Okay. And his boots. So again, let's go with our N9. So let's do right over here. And I'm going to bring this down over here. I'm going to make him have a little bit of a crease there. And then I want to bring this down and around. And then we're going to add in seven. In six, and then in five, and let's do a second coat. So grab your N nine. N7, N6, and then our N5. For his other boot, let's start over here. And I'm going to use this little line that's already here and come down along the bottom of his boot. And let's go around to this little line over here. And then let's make it a little bit wider. 
And then for this section, let's bring this line over here. And we'll fill in in here a little bit. Then we're going to add W's, our N7. And then N6. Then I want to give it a second coat, so again grab N9. N7. N6. And then our N5 again. And then I'm going to take my N3 that we got out and I'm going to color the blades on the skates. And this one down here. Next, let's do the fur. For that, we're going to use C5, 3, and 0. And let's start down here on the bottom of his coat. So I'm going to add my C5s first. So let's go along here. And then over here's a little swirl. So let's do this one. And then this one over here. And then I'm going to add C3. So I want to go over the top of that last color. Make it a little bit wider. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some little swirls. Let's go like this. And then maybe a few up here. soften those with our C0. So I'm just going to dot up and down on each of these little lines. Like that. And let's hop over here and do the one on his arm. So again, grab your um, C5. Let's do a little dark right here. And then how about down in here and like this. And maybe a little bit like this. Then let's do C3. So again, we want to soften that line. So let's go right over the top of that. And then we'll soften that with our C0. Then for his hat brim, again grab your C5. And let's do a little bit over here. And we'll connect it to this little puffy one right here. And how about over the top of this? And maybe a little bit right here. 
And then we're going to add C3. And let's see this little curly Q in here. And then let's soften that with our C0. Last but not least, we got the little pom pom here. So again, grab C5. And let's do it up here. And then C3 to soften that. And then over that with our C0. Let's do his beard next. For that, we're going to use W1 and W00. And let's start with our W1. I'm going to go right underneath of his mustache first. And then let's go underneath this. And this one. And then we're going to kind of go up in here. And over here, and then let's do a couple in like this, maybe over here, and how about over here, over here, and then for his little mustache, let's go underneath of his nose, and then I'm going to do some little swirls down here in these little bumps. And then I want to draw some lines away from his nose. So let's go up. And then I'm going to take W00 to soften the edge. So let's go right over the top of our um, W1 and just make it a little bit fatter. I think I'll go over the little lines in his mustache for a second time. Let's do his belt buckle and the bows. For that, we're going to use Y26 and 21. And let's start with our Y26 down here on our belt. And I'm going to do this little bow right up here, so I'm going to do a little bit on the edges. And then we'll grab Y21 to fill that in. And then for the little package, again go with your um, Y26. So let's go down here and I'm going to connect a line to this little bump right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then over here, let's go down the inside of our bow. Maybe do a little bit on there. our Y21 over that. Then I think I'll darken those lines up. So let's grab Y26 again.
And then I'm going to leave it like that. For the wrapping paper on the package, let's do G19, YG17, and G09. So let's do G19 first. I'm going to do that right along the top here and down the side of our little ribbon. I'm going to come down a little bit on this line there. And then in between this little bow, you can see a little bit of the package. So I'm going to do that. And then let's do right like this. And then I want to add YG17. And then our YG, or sorry, G09. And then I want to do a second coat, so let's do G19 again. Then our YG17. second coat of G09. Let's give him something to skate on. For that we're going to use V93, B000, and B quadruple zero. I'm going to start with my V93 and let's go oh right here where it looks like it's touching down right here. So I'm going to start with my pin and I'm just going to bring it out to, let's go out a little bit further, let's go out here. And then let's widen this out a little bit, so let's go how about like that? And then we're going to add B03 and go a little bit above that little, the blade of the skate, and then we're going to go right over the top of our last color. And then let's add some B quadruple zero. between the blades of his skate and his shoe there because you can kind of see through there. And then I'm going to do a second coat of my V RV93. And let's see, let's do another coat of B0002 a little bit. And then our B quadruple zero. So there is our Santa speedy delivery all colored up. Isn't he like super cute? Love him. And then again, here is my finished card. So my finished card, of course, the little pop-up thing here with the um, shaker inside is popped up. And I used two pieces of um, foam tape on that to make it extra tall so the stuff could really shake around in there. And then the little sentiment is placed on top of that and popped up off of the card too. And I didn't add any other sparkles or anything, but I did throw in a packet of this um, different oh, stuff that you put in the shaker, the sequins and the glitter and all that in there, so you'll be able to put a little bit of that into each of your cards in your kit and make it all sparkly. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.